Hello everybody. We are here at Coker Creek, Tennessee. This is the spot where, I don't know if you can see behind us, all along that cliff wall, where there's a memorial plaque. Uh, back when the Holy Spirit dropped here, there was prayers that were going on for 10 years. 10 years, people were coming together and praying. And after 10 years, it bore fruit with this heavenly gate opening up here and the Holy Spirit falling. And it got to be so powerful that from here, it moved to the Shearer Schoolhouse. So we're literally at ground zero. And it's a beautiful place where you can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. And, uh, and you can feel the longing to burst forth again in the way that it did before, but even uh, in a more powerful and long-lasting, far-reaching effect. So April 9th, 2016, at McKaysville Church of God, that's going to be the church that's hosting the place for gathering. Uh, and then from there, the people are going to be going to the different sites, the Shear Schoolhouse, here to Coker Creek to pray for revival, to receive from this open well. And we're honored and blessed to be here as well with uh, generations, literally. Uh, one gentleman that's here with us, his grandmother was Cherokee and was part of that Shear revival. And we have here also a, a guest with us, uh, Holt. Holt. And, and she's here. Come on in here, Holt. Who The Lord told her to wear blue this morning. <laughs> yes, we're all, we're all in one accord. <laughs> so, so tell us what, what you've been hearing from the Lord about this place, about this revival, uh, whatever the God has for you to speak. As we came into the city this morning, uh, one of our group, one of our elder statesmen believed that Murphy has a prophetic word, but that word has been twisted. It's been silenced. It's no longer the word of the Holy Spirit. But as we um, sort of gathered with some other intercessors, we felt like the root issue here is that God has given to the native people, the first peoples, the point of the spear to connect us with Holy Spirit. And we're here today to bring honor again to who he to whom he gave honor. It's his design, it's his purpose in the first peoples to be the point of the spear for us to return to Holy Spirit, hearing his voice, honoring him. So we're here today to just agree with God and see us get back in track so that the flow of life can continue to come again from his presence and affect our whole nation. And as we are here together, um, just extolling that honor, putting that honor to the Father and to the Son. Amen. And um, it's just a, a wonderful feeling that you can feel from this place. And we really look forward to what he's going to do here. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back on April 9th with several people from other cities, some that have special uh, anointings for rivers. But we would like to see the river of God reopen this well, redug, and yes. we just want to join yes. together with those that have invested so much here locally and have the anointing as their inheritance. We just want to come together and agree for God to be exalted again in this place. And so coming together in unity, we're asking everybody who's watching this video to in unity pray that the Father on April 9th will open up the old wells of revival Amen. and yes. that he will bring a new and a fresh revival yes. that his fire will fall yes. and that yes. we will again have that baptism yes. by fire yes. sacred fire yes. so where wherever wells you know about begin to pray and even if you don't know where they are just start praying in agreement with us that the father would open those wells and that he would again pour out and so that involves humbling ourselves, fasting in prayer, um, repentance, True repentance, and coming together in unity, acknowledging His supremacy. And you know, unity is, is something that's key, and these wells being opened and the Holy Spirit pouring out, because historically every major revival has taken place when people set aside their doctrinal issues and just agreed that the blood of the Lamb was on the doorpost of their hearts. They came yeah. together Amen. and just cried out for more of God. Yeah. And he answers that prayer every yeah. single time. So we're expecting a mighty move of God when this well gets Amen. untapped here in the Murphy, North Carolina area, in Azusa, Amen. Strawberry Lake, Oklahoma, Washington, D.C., everywhere yes. where these ancient yes. wells are, yes. that the Philistines, that the enemy has come in and, and filled in with dirt and trash. How dare the enemy trash what God has made that is holy and pure 
and, and we are expecting a powerful move of the creator across the land. And I just feel like um, there are some Davids out there who need to stand up and say, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that would come and, and speak slanderous words against our God? Our God is greater than that. And to stand up and defeat those Philistines, defeat those giants, so that those wells will not continue mm -hmm. to be trashed and, and mm -hmm. filled in, but that we can dig them up and that the Father will break loose and revival. Amen. Amen. We're excited. You should be too. <laughs>